Let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. I think that's important because you, you always got to try. If you don't, you'll never know the outcome. Deming is one of those athletes that helps you get up in the morning. He's the reason that you have your job, and he's the reason that you want to come to work and to do what you do every day. Deming's nickname is D-Money. Very important. On the first day of school, he asked that I refer to him as that. You never see Deming in a bad mood either. He's always smiling. He's always very pleasant. He's always personable. He comes up to me and said, hey, Coach Dave, how you doing? And like wants to give me a high five. He's a leader. He definitely has taken that leadership role on, on our teams that he's involved with. Kids look up to him. And he understands that he has autism and he understands that people have disabilities and he reaches out to them. So I think that that's an amazing thing where he has developed so many friends. I mean, you could see him walking through the school uh, in the hallway and everybody's saying, hey Deming, hey Deming, everybody knows Deming. Deming is a, a sports fanatic in general. <laughs> he uh, loves playing sports, but he absolutely loves baseball. I wanted him to move up a level in baseball because he's a good baseball player. So we got him involved with the Schaumburg Little League. So he's playing on a Little League team. And I'll bet you most of the kids on the team don't know that he has special needs. One of the players, he told me that when I wasn't on the team last year, the team only won one game. So the fact that we, we've won five in a row, it's awesome. We're better than the Cubs, so it really doesn't take too much effort to do that. <laughs> Sometimes he gets a gold medal in Special Olympics, sometimes he doesn't. But what I really see is he's not afraid to join in a group of kids who don't have special needs, who aren't autistic. He will join in with them and he feels good about himself that he's on the same playing field as they are. One time a, an athlete came to me and said, Coach Dave, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm probably not going to play basketball this year. And I'm like, really? How come? And he was like, because I think I'm going to go for the Park District team this year. And that to me is like the biggest reward of my job, that we've fostered enough growth and we've given them enough confidence that makes them want to go out and take that next step. It also helps our gen ed students build that sense of respect and a sense of empathy towards others so that they don't right away judge each other, which at this age, I feel like, you know, judgment's a big thing. Most students uh, in seventh and eighth grade have a true um, discomfort or insecurity with who they are. So there's no better time to have Special Olympics than during this critical time in their development which gives the students a chance to see students rise above limitations that may have been forced upon them, uh, disabilities that they may have been born with, uh, and, and be able to truly succeed in life. Basketball, I would say, is Deming's second favorite sport. Deming is a competitor, and he can be a fierce competitor. He's nonstop on the court. It's hard to slow him down. He wasn't always that way. So Demon joined the Young Athletes program when he was younger and he learned all about all the different gross motor skills. But everyone is like, what do you do after Young Athletes? So when Deming turned eight years old and he joined the traditional program, he was able to do things like the basketball program. And I remember that first time that I saw Deming trying to dribble a ball, I think the ball might have been a little larger than he was. Uh, I remember when we, the first time we went down state, I told Deming to guard this guy that was probably three times taller than he was. And he went out and held on to his leg. Uh, because that was his way of dealing with it. And now kids are chasing him down the court trying to catch him because he's just an awesome athlete. He just is a really good team player when it comes to basketball. I think one great example is, of course, we have uh, lower functioning athletes on his team. And Deming, if he was to get the ball, he would make sure that every single person on that team gets a chance to either dribble or take a shot. He says, here, take the ball and go down the court. He'll, he'll really foster that and his other teammates. My favorite thing about Special Olympics is that everyone gets a chance. Skiing was an amazing thing. Deming started skiing his first year. I think he threw a temper tantrum. I remember uh, he yelled at me on the hill. He hated it, he despised it. And now you see him put on skis and it, his whole face kind of lights up and he smiles and he kind of just slides down the hill with ease, and I don't understand how that's possible. This past winter, uh, well, for one thing, it was really cold. I remember the second time I fell down, but I got back up, finished it off, fifth place, but on the giant slalom, I got gold. 
standing on that podium, it's a feeling that I can't necessarily describe. I don't think it's just me. I think that's about all the Special Olympics athletes. Because Deming was able to participate and compete in our alpine skiing competition, he got to go away for three days and stay at a resort and ski every day and show off his talents and then hang out with his friends and go to a dance and uh, go to the arcade and swim in the swimming pool at the hotel. And so those are all things that he was able to do uh, because he was able to compete. You know, unfortunately in life, not everything works out perfectly. You don't always win the game. You don't always win the raffle or the award or whatever it is. And what they learn in Special Olympics through sportsmanship and through the benefits of winning and losing then carries over in school, at home, and just in life in general. I want to win. I know I'm not going to always win. You know, if you push hard as you can, that's all that really matters, that you've tried. They get self-confidence for sure. I mean, there are kids, I say to the parents, I say, man, I'm really sorry we didn't win the game. They go, don't worry about the game, you know. Nick dribbled the ball for the first time in his life, and I'm like, I never thought of it that way, you know. When he first started out, he'd be upset if he didn't win the race or if he wasn't first in line. He'd be upset if his team didn't win. He'd cry sometimes. And as he participated in Special Olympics, and their famous motto, and to be brave in the attempt, he started to learn that he could do a very good job and sometimes you don't win. Now as he's grown older, he not only understands that it's important for him to do the best he can, but he acknowledges the other kids and he'll shake their hand and he'll compliment them on something they did well. And I think that's about the most you can ask of a person. Special Olympics has given him the confidence to be able to explore other things in this great big world that we have. And so when you look at Deming, you do see a true athlete, you see a baseball lover, but you see a member of the band. You see a member of a dance troupe that goes around in tours and is able to showcase different skills. You see a global messenger who's able to go around and spread the mission of what Special Olympics is. And so Special Olympics actually, I think, has helped Deming to gain those skills to be able to do all the other things that he's been able to do in his very young life. This is not how Deming always has been. He's really overcome challenges and really has come so far with his disability. Seeing Deming now, thinking back to when he was young, all the skills, all the activities, all the friends he's made, I think it's just a wonderful thing. I could never have envisioned that when he was sitting there drawing his traffic lights or lining up his cars, just in a little world of his own. You see Deming in the hallway and some people say, Deming has autism? I didn't know he had autism. So I think that that's a really cool thing that some people don't even know there's a disability there, that they just look at Deming for who he is. You have an, a built-in hero story walking through your hallway, uh, and, and you can't uh, duplicate that. You know, all the character programs we might put in place uh, to truly teach kids what it means to accept and tolerate, when it's actually here in your school and get a chance to see those success stories, that truly is the richest part of, of that Special Olympics experience. With those wholly involved communities, you don't see a difference. You don't see that somebody has a disability or not. You're accepting of everyone, regardless of um, their individual disability or race or religion or whatever it might be. I wouldn't be where I am without Special Olympics. I think it's been a huge deal for me, and it's going to be a huge deal for me for the rest of my life. I think it's also taught me that uh, there's people in the real world that can relate to you, that you're not alone.